What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Little Effects back at it again with another banger video. In this video, guys, I'm gonna be vlogging, so it's gonna just be me a vlog. Um, I'm out of town. I just want to take y'all with me on my day to day, um, just you know, just like lifestyle, so y'all could just see like outside of the the typical trading videos that I do, just like on a weekly basis. So I just want to take you guys around with me. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to run into a lot of different um, individuals that do a lot of different things. So we're going to be recording it all. So right now, currently, we just got to the hotel room. Just checked in. About to get an Uber to go get up, um, to go pick up my rental. And then we're going to head to the van. Um, on the way here, my flight got delayed, so I'm already like three hours late. But we there, though. So that's all that really matters, right? So we're going to keep our high spirits. We're not going to let, you know, all of the, the mishaps um, affect us. We're just going to have a, a, a good weekend, a good event, good networking, and we're just going to, you know, attack it with a with an open spirit. So uh, catch me in a little bit. All right, so we're back. Just picked up the rental, so we just got to it. So here we got the AMG. AMG for the weekend. This thing is pretty nice. I mess with it. See here, the inside. Smooth. That thing hard. So we definitely in this thing for the weekend. So now we about to head over to the event. Let's get this vlog started. Outside with it. 
Alright, appreciate you. You're welcome. This one right here is hard.
already talking about the mask, but it's kind of hot, but sure, we out here, last day of the event, definitely got to, we got to turn up. We're all almost sold out. We only got one left for these, one left for these, and one left for those. These are all the only sizes we got left. Rolled and sold out, man. Tell them, man, tell them about it, man. You damn near that sold out almost all the colors, man. Yeah, I almost sold out on colorways. Uh, a lot of sizes is out, but it comes with it. Uh, dedicated to the grind. Uh, follow us at DTTG Official. Our website, DTTGOfficial.com. Sir. YouTube, it's your boy Lido FX back at it again with another banger video, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, like I said, I'll be bringing a lot more vlog content to my channel. That's what you guys have been asking for. So you've been inside of my Instagram, um, Instagram social media posts where I ask like, what do y'all want to see more? So that was just a quick vlog on um, just an event I went to when I was out out in Atlanta. It was called Atlanta Streetwear Department. So as you guys can see in the video that I did meet a lot of different people. Um, so that was, you know, that was always exciting. And like I said, I'm gonna bring a lot more uh, vlogs to the channel. I got a lot of content with my C8 that's gonna be dropping this week as well. So I wanted to just keep you guys updated on that. As you can see, we got the new setup. We got the new setup, so I hope y'all like the setup. Let me know in the comment section if y'all like the setup. So we got the 
um, Sony a7 on the webcam right now so usually I just had like a regular webcam but now I got my actual camera as a webcam so I think the quality is a lot better as y'all can see the office tour oops I'm over here knocking stuff out but the office tour has um it has been uh coming along right so it's definitely been coming along so that's definitely a plus um but like i said let me know in the comment section if you guys like the setup so what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be going over my weekly chart analysis like i give you guys every week but this video i wanted to give you guys a vlog um on top of the market forecast that you guys typically get every single week right just to spice up the content a little bit so let me go ahead and share my screen really fast so give me a second here let's pull this up real quick boom all right so on us 30 now let's talk about um pretty much what we have um what we were looking for the last week right so last week we talked about last week we were here so we were what's today's date 24th we were here on the 16th so we were right here and i was telling you guys like okay i could be looking for buys up into this area right here um, and then I, will, I want to see if price is going to break this trend line. Price broke and retested this trend line. I told you guys to sell. So what do we do here? We had this break and retest of this trend line after we pushed up here to this level of resistance first. We broke and retested. Then we had this drop down. So then from there, that was a good selling opportunity. So this dropped about 260 points. So that was good. And then at the end of the week, I took a buy here and I carried it up to this level of resistance here. Um, currently, let me do a, actually do a full breakdown. So well, I'm gonna start from the weekly time frame and then give it to you guys like that. So on the weekly time frame, you can see here we've been talking about this for the last couple of weeks that we were in this overall bullish uptrend. So we had impulse correction, then we look to get our continuation. Currently, we form like a lower high point, so I could see this potentially pushing down if we can get some closures beneath this candle right here on the weekly time frame. But we won't know that until. The week is over right so on a daily time frame you can see we're starting to get a lot of bearish momentum we have bearish candle bearish candle bearish candle bearish candle doji and the followed by this bearish candle that's starting right now it's currently sunday um so here four hour we started you can see we was in this consolidation like this was a, a real ranging period at the end of the week i did not like this um and that's why i still even had this alert here um i guess i could delete this because this was from last week uh remove that um so upcoming we can see impulse correction we could potentially be looking for a continuation but if we break beneath this level of support break and retest then i could see the next level coming to about 33579 which is about 100 points away and then if we break that level then we could potentially come down all the way down to 33300 area but we need to see how price is going to play out so in the one hour one thing that i'm being very mindful of is that we're starting to form this divergence slash just like a descending channel pattern so you can see here we're going down we got lower low i mean got lower high lower high and then on the rsi we got um upwards movement so we got higher low points so that lets us know that there's a high probability chance price could reverse from here but like i talk about on all my calls we have to wait for price to finish diverging before we look to take these buy opportunities so here you can see now that i have my chart pulled up i have this channel and then we also had this trend line. So if we happen to break, and it looks like we're breaking right now. So if we break with an impulse and then we come back to retest this area, then this is going to be a nice selling opportunity to here, like I was just saying. And then if we break and retest down, I mean, we break and retest this zone, then we coming down to this red zone. So that's something that we have to be mindful of this week. And then also for buying opportunities, like I said, we want to wait for price to finish diverging. So we will look for a break and a retest of this descending channel. And then we got a nice buy potentially up to these highs right here and then break retest and then we come up to here so that's pretty much what we overall looking for on the week on us 30. so let's just go ahead and actually type that out so let's call out tool if we break and retest then carry it lower and then if we break and retest look to buy up so the market is pretty simple right 
It's just like when I move, you move just like that. So when the market say I want to go up, then you ride the wave up. When the market tell you want to go down, you ride the wave down. So pretty much just being real reactive this week. We did have a lot of consolidation in the week, so I know there's going to be a big move coming. So once we break out of this pennant, whatever way we break out, then that's going to be telling us the market, the way the market wants to go. And make sure for this sale, you know, I said it looks like they're breaking right now. Make sure it actually pushes away and then it comes back because price could easily just close beneath this and then fake out, fake a lot of people out, take their stop losses out. So definitely be mindful of that. So when you when I say wait on the break, you want to have a clean break, a push down and then a come back to retest and make sure it's testing this area and not just coming back and coming back, closing back inside of that area. So definitely be mindful of that. And then let's go to NAS 100. So last week on NAS 100, we were here. Uh, we were here and then I talked about I could see this coming up to this blue zone so if you go back and rewatch the last week's video I talked about um, definitely looking for this to push up so that's what we did to end I mean to start the week and then I also told you guys if we broke and retested this purple trend line which is why I had this dotted line that we could sell it back down to this zone so we hit this zone at the top first and then we broke and retested and we had a nice sell opportunity so if you had a fear from point A to point B you can see here price hit negative 27 TP perfectly. And now price is still forming the lower lows and lower high points throughout this area. So as long as you stay beneath this one hour downtrend, then we could look to continue for price to continue to push down. However, if we break above retest, then we could be looking for this overall buy here. So um, only take buys if we break and retest this trend line. Only take buys if we break and retest. I'm not really necessarily looking for sales until we break beneath this area here in retest because we're so close to this level of support right here. I don't want to take a sale going into this level right here. So definitely got to be mindful of that. Um, and then like you can see here, this is just one big area of consolidation on the four hour time frame. So price has just been going sideways, but we had this impulse push. This could be a correction before we go higher. Um, I'm just looking for the market to tell me what it's going to be doing this week. I'm not really looking like sometimes, like I tell y'all in my videos, sometimes you just have to be open to letting the market literally come to you. Like when it's consolidating like this, like you don't really necessarily want to take, like try to force trades, like let the market tell you, okay, this is what I want to do next. And then you ride the wave. But if it's not like super clear, some days you just got to sit out and I know y'all probably like mad at me because y'all like, damn, I wanted to get a full blown analysis. But sometimes look, listen to me. Patience pays. Right. So I talked about this last week, like being patient literally will save you money. So definitely utilize being patient when the market is not showing you what it wants to do. And it's just going back and forth between the range. Chill out or you could trade the range, but just know that. You only gonna be trading the highs or the lows and you're not looking for a price to break out until actually price breaks a level and retest to confirm that it's going in a um intended direction so definitely be mindful of that now let me pull up gold gold was beautiful um so here on last week we had we were here so on the 16th so let's turn this on i told y'all that if we broke beneath this trend line and retested that we would have a nice sell so this i missed this trend line at the beginning of the week when i first gave out analysis this blue one and once price came up here and started to reject i drew this trend line and this was on like monday and then i was like damn that's a break and retest right there and then we had to push down and we broke and retested this black trend line and then we pushed down for a nice sell so you can see that ghost pattern i had there for a good 300 pips and that was a beautiful trade on gold and now currently we are sitting um at this area and we are starting to form that divergence still so you can see here going up and then going down so just like us 30 we could potentially see a buy but we have to wait for that descending channel to get finished so now let's go to the higher time frame just to verify what is going on so in weekly time frame we started to get some rejections remember we had this main level of resistance on a weekly time frame we got some rejections here so that's the indication that the market could be potentially pushing down daily we got that ascending channel like we talked about last week and then we got some bearish momentum on the four hour time frame we pretty much kind of like going sideways for the most part but we start to see this descending channel so that's the indication that the market could potentially push up so we just have to see um 
and play it by the ear. Since we already hit our negative 27 TP, there is a possibility we could push back up to the 2013 area, come back to test those highs. And on the one hour, pretty much the same thing. So this pushed up and it kind of almost made a new high, but you see we have this higher low point here. That's an indication that the market could potentially push up from this area. So it was 88.6. So if I was to give y'all analysis here, if we break above and retest this trend line, so let me get y'all something real quick. So I like this for gold. And then we could come back to test this trend line here. So look for this on gold. This is actually a good trade. Um, as long as we stay above, I mean, we break above this trend line and retest, then that's a good buy opportunity. So that's what I'm looking for for gold. And then, of course, we know we react to the market. If the market decides it wants to break beneath these levels of support, retest, then we know we're coming down to this blue zone right here. So just make sure you wait on this break and retest for this gold. If it never breaks and retest, then you simply sit out and you, you just wait. So I hope that makes sense to everybody because... Um, we just do we doing this week in and week out, right? So we talk about the same things over and over and over again. It's all about wash, rinse, and repeat, right? So when the market shows you that it has a move available, then you take advantage. When it doesn't show you it has, it has a move available, then you simply sit out and you just relax, you know, then enjoy your day, do whatever you got to do, right? So um, like I said, I hope this video, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like the vlog content. Let me know in the comment section if you guys do like this vlog content, and then let me know if you want to if you want the market forecast to be separated from the vlog content or put together like how I did this video. And like I said, I got some fire, um, some fire content dropping with my C8. I've been building it. I've been getting a lot of new parts. Um, I got some other vlog content as well. So yeah, just let me know how y'all feel about it because ultimately I want to give you guys what you want to see, right? So if y'all want to see trade breakdown videos all day, then okay, cool. I can do trade breakdown videos. If you guys want to see vlog and trade breakdown videos, okay, cool. If y'all want to do market forecast, okay, cool. So it's whatever y'all want to see because I like to show love to all of my subscribers and I appreciate all of you guys' support. We almost at... 10k subscribers so that's definitely a milestone we want to get get to and like i said in my previous videos once we get to 10k subscribers i will be giving out my course for free to one lucky um subscriber so definitely take advantage of that and i hope you guys are appreciating the the um the upgrades and the content like i said i'm trying to give out the best content so i want my videos to look the best i want my audio to sound the best i want my setup in the background to look the best I just want to be the best on YouTube, and I do it for you guys. So um, definitely keep me updated in the comment section how y'all feel about this. And I will see y'all in the next video coming soon.